ancient days, noble knights roamed the land, doing good deeds and acts of service for their king. Many of those brave squires served the greatest lord of all, the King of Kings. Travel with us now as we ride with these mighty men of God on their quest for kingdom adventures. Oh, thank you so much, Penelope. You may take a rest now. Good go. Oh, Penelope, settle down, settle down. Hello, children. Good morrow to you. It is I, Squire Goofus the Galleon, senior knight in training. And I'm waiting for my good teacher, Theophilus, to teach me. Look, he's already here. Hail, Theophilus. <clears throat> I said, hail, Theophilus. <sighs> Perhaps he's just sleeping. <laughs> Theophilus! <gasps> Perhaps he stopped breathing! Oh no, Theophilus, don't worry, I know CPR! No. Live back, oh, live! No, no, wait, wake up! Oh, 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 stop pounding on me! Wait, don't get down, you'll do some saving your life! Oh, do not oh, take I'm this not man today dying. on! I'm not dying! Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. If I was dead, I think I'd know about it. Oh. <sighs> but you were sitting here so still. I was praying! Praying? Yes, I often like to come out here to this beautiful garden so I can spend my prayer time alone with the Lord. Wait, wait, wait. So you actually have a very special time of day to pray? Well, doesn't everyone? Are we supposed to? I mean, I, every time I pray, I always pray about the things that I want. Well, there's nothing wrong with praying for the things you need. I mean, God does want to know about our needs, but sometimes I just like to talk to God. Oh. You know, Jesus prayed all the time. Here, let me get out God's word and I'll show you right now. Very good. <laughs> That's like a prayer set to music. Now, this report is about Jesus praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. Ah, the Garden of Hoosie Watsy. Not Hoosie Watsy, Gethsemane. Ah, Gethsemane. No, 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 Gethsemane. Repeat oh. after me. Okay. Geth. Geth. Sem. Sem. Man. Man. Knee. Knee. Gethsemane. Gethsemane. Close enough. <laughs> Anyway, it was in this garden where Jesus went to pray after the Last Supper. Ooh, is this going to be a sad one? I'm afraid so. Yes, Jesus said his soul was overwhelmed with sorrow. He knew that it was almost time to give his life on the cross. So what did Jesus do? He did the wisest thing that any of us can do. He prayed? Yes. Jesus asked his friends Peter and James and John to come and wait for him while he went aside to pray, My Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Well, what cup was he talking about? Well, by saying cup, he meant his suffering and death. God's plan was for Jesus to save the world from their sins by dying on the cross. Ooh. Well, I would have prayed for God to choose a different way to save the world. Well, Jesus did ask if there was any other way. But he also prayed this prayer. My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. <laughs> wow. So Jesus wanted to live. But he also, more importantly wanted to do exactly what God wanted, no matter what. Correct. Saying, may your will be done, is like saying, I want whatever God wants. Ah, and <laughs> Jesus wanted to do God's will, even when it meant sacrificing everything. Teacher, mm. I have been praying so selfishly. Oh, why do you say that, Gus? Every time I pray, it's for only the things that I want. Oh, I see. I mean, for instance, uh, I prayed for God for a horse, and he gave me Penelope. And then I prayed for a sword, and he gave me this one. And I pray you stop dropping it. And recently, 
I've been praying that God makes me a knight. All my prayers have been about me, me, me. Well, Gus, you know, it's all right to pray for the things you want. But like Jesus, we must be asking God what he wants for us. You'll see, prayer is not a wish list. It is simply the way we talk to God. Ah, <laughs> so when I pray to him, I can talk to him and ask that he makes me a knight. But most importantly, it's that I pray that he does anything he needs with my life. Exactly. You see, you never know. It might very well be God's will and his plan for you to become a knight so that you may help others. <gasps> the obelisk, I've got it. You've got what? Well, I've, I've been searching and searching and searching for something to give up for Lent. Hmm? And I finally have an idea. Yes? That I shall spend some of my time each and every day talking to him and praying that his will be done. That is a wise way to serve our king. Well, wise man, help me see it. Oh, you are truly growing on me, Gus. Let's all say our kingdom code uh, together. Serving, serving the, the king, king is the noblest thing. thing. Come, let us pray for the children. Oh, excellent idea. So long, children. <laughs>